And welcome back to another Coach's Corner. I'm Rick Silvestrini, and this week Coach Rick Fox is off, so I'm joined by Defensive Coordinator Todd Stepsis. Todd, thanks for uh, joining us here today on Coach's Corner. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, hey, road wins, as Coach Fox says, are always tough in this league. You go to Maris, that's a very long trip out there. You grind it out, you lose your starting quarterback, and you still pull out the win. Talk about the keys to that game. Man, uh, guys just playing hard. Um, we talk about effort and uh, that not – having anything to do with the level of talent and so when you go on the road uh, the effort level has got to be extremely high because adversity is going to strike um, you never know when it's going to happen whether it's an injury or whether it's a bad play and the guys really responded from start to finish well now you improve your record to four and three three and one in the conference defensively you had a couple stars of the game uh, Sean Lynch named the uh, PFL defensive player of the week had two interceptions uh, in the game talk about his performance uh, Probably one of the best performances from a safety that I've been around. Um, you know, I've been coaching now for 18 years, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I can remember. I think just one play that he missed the entire game. And playing defensive back, there's lots of space that you have to be able to cover and operate in. And sometimes it's a difficult thing when a guy's got a lot of room to make you miss. Mm -hmm. um, but he didn't. You know, Sean was all over the place. Uh, stepped up big, made key plays and key moments, and those two picks were, were awesome. Well, you know, usually when you go on the road, it's a close game. Special teams are going to be key. Uh, and you also picked up another award, uh, Danny Donnelly, <clears throat> excuse me, the special teams player of the week. Four field goals in the game, 13 total points. How big was that performance? Uh, huge, absolutely huge. And, um, you know, he's from Jinx, Oklahoma. And, you know, for people that don't know about Jinx, I mean, one of the best programs uh, in that state and sometimes in the country. And um, he was uh, ice in his veins down there. <laughs> and he did the same thing uh, on Saturday, just uh, automatic. It was great to watch. Well, th this is a very unique trip when you got to Marist. I mean, it's a long trip. It's tough to get to, so you have all the travel uh, situations. But then, also, you stayed an extra day, so you had an opportunity to visit New York and, and a lot of team bonding, especially after a win. That, that had to be a lot of fun. So much fun. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'd never been in New York City, so I went downtown and nice. uh, checked out the sights and, uh, and the lights. I mean, I couldn't believe how bright it was uh, in, you know, at night. It was, it was incredible. And um, some of the guys hung out at Times Square. Another group went to the uh, you know, Freedom Tower and saw the memorial yep. there. Um, lots of fun. Uh, it was great to enjoy that on the winning side. Absolutely. Well, since we have the defensive coordinator here, let's talk about your defense because it's been very good this year, ranked number two in the league. Uh, what have been the keys uh, to that kind of performance all year long? Uh, same thing I started with, just playing hard. Um, you know, we talk all the time about just going out there and, and giving it your best, and, and they know it's an unattainable goal. Uh, yeah. they, I tell them that they always can play harder, and I feel like, man, when they're chasing something, uh, they're, they're always going to keep striving to, to be their best. So, uh, you know, just, just effort level is, is a big thing. We've got a ton of depth uh, right now, particularly on the defensive line. And that defensive line, it's, it's great to be able to roll out 8, 9, 10, 11 guys at a team. Um, it's, it's like a heavyweight title match where we just keep on giving them body blows with all those, all those people. And uh, we end up wearing people down towards the end. Well, it seems like it's been forever since you've been home. But you're back home, yes. finally, this Saturday, 1 o'clock against Davidson. Team that struggled a little bit, but talk about that matchup. Uh, boy, you know, we haven't played them in a couple of years, so um, it's kind of neat to see a, a new face uh, in the league. Um, but, man, you know, lots of weapons on offense. Um, they've got some great skill. Quarterback knows how to deliver the ball on time. Um, up front, they pass protect extremely well. And, um, you know, they've been running the ball fairly efficiently. So um, it's, it's going to be a challenge. You know, they play teams tough but then have had a snowball um, on some of their losses where, man, they're hanging in there and all of a sudden it's a, it's a, it's a defensive touchdown, it's a big play on offense, and, and all of a sudden now they're down by a couple of scores. But um, they're going to come in and fight. Um, I, I know their head coach um, you know, fairly well, and um, he's going to have them ready to go. Okay, it's a 1 o'clock game, Drake Stadium. Coach, thanks for a pinch hitting for Coach Fox today. <laughs> hope, hope I satisfied no, the, the customer. <laughs> Great job. Well, that's uh, Coach's Corner, our football preview for this week. I'm Rick Silvestrini. We'll see you next time.